Alright, after that photobomb, go ahead and uh, meet up with Elizabeth. Welcome back, by the way. This is the next part of uh, Tips, Tricks, and Tactics. Uh, so far, it's all just been tips, I guess. I mean, nothing's been happening. So she'll dance around. Go ahead and grab her. That's a really big violin, by the way. <laughs> Her facial expression reminds me of stuff out of like Pixar. <laughs> she makes like some weird facial expressions. But whatever. Alright, if you hold down shift and start running, she starts running just as fast. So if you if you wanna just like haul ass, hold sprint and she will just haul ass as well. It's really nice. So, so go over here, she'll talk about Comstock. He will comment on something about, like, the I, have, I have the Prophet or something. Alright, so anyways, there's a whole bunch of lootable things. You can run in here. You can learn how the water works in this game. And there you go. You heard it here, folks. Oh, there's a betting table here with the money. Damn it! I just grabbed alcohol. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, cigarettes, please don't grab the cigarettes. All right, good. But um, I forgot what I was gonna say. There's a whole mess of lootable stuff here. Uh, the guy isn't gonna give a rat's ass. So just loot, loot him blind. And uh, employees only. This is notable. Apparently he was having dinner with a doll. That's uh, kind of creepy. So anyways, moving on. I will tell you about, she'll find health for you if you need it. You've done a good job of uh, looting, then you probably won't need her help uh, getting full health right now. And then the decision. Yeah. There you go. The second biggest decision of your life. Nothing beats the cage. These two are Amazing. Which ones do you like more? This one or or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. I just can't decide. I'm gonna go ahead and go against the majority. The one on the left. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. I expected the bird. It's going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. So from here, you realize the entire Monument Island's been destroyed. While everyone's distracted, go ahead and just kind of look around, loot what you can. Not that, not that they're gonna, you know, care or anything. But oh no, it's destroyed. Smoke's coming out, and the songbird's gonna come and rape my face, which will probably happen. But you know, there's money and a wallet right there. If you didn't see, uh, continue. You're gonna run across this blockade. I believe there's like some stuff you can loot here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm a fraud. Who knows? Go here. This guy's attempting to rat you out. And then go ahead and tell Elizabeth about the uh, the lock, and she'll go pick it. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. And done. All right. And so from here, there's a whole mess of lootable uh, chests and drawers. So grab grab what you can. Uh, okay, let's go. So from here, my memory of the game is slowly going to deteriorate because a lot of this stuff, uh, either I found it the first time and never uh, practiced it. Like, this is my probably, this is my, this is my second run through 1911. I may be implementing new, uh, new, new stuff in this game than I did uh, my last game. Like I said, uh, last game I never got Winter Shield, which gives you invulnerability. When you come off a of skyline, and I'm kind of hoping this is Winter Shield. Okay, it's Storm. That's. Uh, I won't equip it now, but it's definitely coming. It's definitely gonna become important later in the game. Box phone here. You can listen to this radio message. It's actually really funny. It's how to determine if your uh, spouse or your loved one is uh, a terrorist working for the Vox Populi. So here's the couple that you didn't throw the ball at. Please be. Uh. 
Actually, I'll just take it. I like my melee knockback. So you help those people. You reach, you reach the cabinets of the same message over and over. And if you bring Elizabeth over here, she'll mention this. This is an Easter egg. Just like Bioshock Infinite. And then if you run over here, Elizabeth will get cotton candy. Or not, I'm, I probably missed the trigger. But uh, make sure you go behind here and loot the stuff here. Oh, there you go. Hey, you go little miss. Cotton candy here. It's your cotton candy. So while she's eating that, go ahead and loot all these uh, desks. If you're lucky, there's going to be stuff in it, <laughs> unlike me. Uh, children running around circles. Uh, yeah, you can uh, go here. There's lootable stuff. There's also small little. There's also small uh, small little uh, tidbits of information. Shoe shiner that's sleeping on job. Uh, I think there's nothing else in here. And then go inside the women's side. Uh, there should be a purse around here. There it is. I think that's the only notable thing inside this restroom. Over here, there's I think there's nothing on both sides except for little audio tidbits. There's another... Okay, what is this thing called? Kentoscope? Okay, not the word I was thinking of, but whatever. We're gonna keep going. Uh, Mr. Prophet, uh, I hate these things. Those things need to, you know, burn. Pro tip, if <laughs> if you ever run into this kind of situation in real life, <laughs> never, never never, give them your real name, because <laughs> they'll just use that against you later. You know, safety pro tip of the day. Alright, so you keep moving. Yeah, whatever, guy. You go over here, this guy talks about sour sauerkraut. Which is interesting because this is a uh, this is taken in during a era where I guess there's well, I wouldn't say I guess there's there's obviously some racism and then uh, you know if you know the origins of sauerkraut and uh, its uh, racial slurness in history then you can figure out what's going on there. So from here, I like how that guy just, just stops playing the violin and just lowers. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, do probably what the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing here. For passage to the first lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, mister, you're gonna get mm -hmm. And it's actually better if you do this decision. And why this decision? I mean, draw the weapon so that you can instantly turn around, possess people, and like run away because you gotta. There are people with shotguns, and these shotgun people are gonna mess up your day. <laughs> so the sooner you can, the sooner you can draw your weapon, the better, especially at this point. Ooh, I'm actually almost dead. Like I said, the shotgun people are, are definitely gonna, definitely gonna be a bitch, because that's gonna be like point blank range shotgun shots to your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my guns to machine gun shotgun. Uh, booby trap this area because that's where they're going to be running from. And back up and use this uh, use this small ledge as cover. So from here, we get back in the action. Don't kill me. All right, get him. Wait, right, just gonna ditch my pistol for now. I need, I need some faster shooting weapons. When you come inside this office, there's gonna be a guy that's gonna come down the hallway. He's a melee guy, so just, wow, not miss first of all, and just completely smack his smack shit around. Alive. If she dies, I suspect they will give us to the bird. 